Okay, if you're worried about having to furlough an employee and how to do it in zero, this video will show you how straightforward it is. So we're going to go to payroll and we're going to run a payroll as normal. Select the pay run I want, which is for the month of May and process our payroll. And let's look at Charlotte, the only employee that we have. So what's happened in the month of May? This is a normal payroll just to show you payroll as it would be without furlough. Charlotte's salary is £24,000 a year, so £2,000 a month. Now what Zero does behind the scenes, that figure is always going to be right, but Zero looks at the hours somebody works in a week and calculates the hours that they will work during that month. So during the month of May, if you look at a calendar, you'll see that from Monday to Friday, there's 21 working days. Charlotte works 30 hours a week, so she works six hours a day. So if I've got my sums right, 21 times six gives you 126 hours. So then zero works backwards, and again, behind the scenes, calculates an hourly rate. So the hourly rate varies month to month, but we don't need to get too concerned about it. It's just the fact that I like to explain what appears on here. So we have a monthly salary and I want to take a look at the pensions as well. We've got the deduction from the employee, which is currently 5%. So as we would expect, it's £100. And we have the employer pension amount, if we scroll down, which is 3%. So that's £60. That's the pay run if Charlotte was paid as normal. And you probably all know this option. If you've done a draft payroll and you need to change it, you can easily select delete. Yes, we want to delete the payroll, so we're back to the start. Now to look at the furlough. I'm going to go to payroll and I'm going to go to employees. I'm going to choose Charlotte and then the tabs appear and I'm going to the time off tab. You'll see lots of notes about furlough and Zero and Zero's help pages are good. Scroll down to the time off section, I'm going to say new and here we have an option where we can choose furlough leave. It's for Charlotte. The default is today's date, which is the 7th of May, but I want to furlough from the 1st of May. And the end date I'm choosing at this stage, the 31st of May. So Zero says the May pay period will be 126 hours. I'm happy with that, so I approve it. Okay, if you're not happy with leave, you can go to the two dots at the right of it and you can actually remove it by decline. I'm going to do that because I'm going to show you the other way to get to the same place. We're on the dashboard, we choose payroll, and this time instead of choosing an employee, we can head to time off. We can click on new and we can choose furlough here. So now we have to choose the employee. So we'll pick up Charlotte and we're into the same screen. So from the 1st of May to the 31st of May, 126 hours approve. Now we're going to payroll and we're going to do our pay run again. So pay employees, select our May payroll and process. Let's look at what's happened. If we select Charlotte, we can look at the details. So there's nothing in the line for regular hours, but we, what we have in the line below is furlough leave that zero has calculated. So it's 126 hours, because we know that's the hours worked in the month. And zero has done the sums here, so it's taken the normal hourly rate and it's put it to 80%. We don't need to worry about that too much because we look at this figure here and we know that that's what we want. So the normal salary was 2000 at 80%. The furlough payment to Charlotte is going to be 1600 If we scroll down, we can also see that the pension at 5% is a lower figure at 80 And if we scroll further down, we'll get to the employer pension details and we can see that Zero's created two lines and that's because you can reclaim the furlough amount. So there's a line here that says Nest, the pension provider, furlough recoverable. So that is the pension you can reclaim. I'm going to show you something else. Now, you might be happy with that and you would just save it and finish your pay run. Some employers are topping up furlough. I've created a new earnings type and I've called it furlough top up. And all that you need to do is fill in an amount. So we'll fill in 400 because we're topping it up to the full salary. So what we can see now is Charlotte up at the top there's two lines, but the total earnings amount is the same as before, 2,000. And as we scroll down, 
we can see that the pension is now the same as before. The employee deduction is 100. And if we head down to the employer pension, it's back to the same amount as before, but you have two lines with the recoverable amount shown separately. If we're happy with that, we would just save and close. And we'll finish off by just taking a look at Charlotte's payslip. Charlotte's payslip. Gross pay is 2000, net pay is 1572.64. So on her pay slip, she will have two new lines furlough leave 1600 and furlough top up 400 with nothing against her regular hours. But the total salary is the same amount. Pension will be the same £100 deduction and her net pay to get paid to Charlotte is the 1572.64. So that is how straightforward it is to enter furlough leave in zero. As always, if you like my videos, please let me know that you like them. And why don't you subscribe to the channel so you get notified when new videos are uploaded each week. Until next time, happy zeroing. <music>